Hello, my name is Joanne Rachel. I work with South Sudan Council of Churches as the advocacy coordinator, and I'm also from South Sudan. So my work is on analyzing peace processes, in particular, the River Talai's Agreement on the Resolution of Conflicts in South Sudan, which was signed in 2018. And also I do advocacy on issues to do with gender-based violence and inclusion of women and youth in peace and governance, and also advocacy on climate change, which has become a big issue in South, in South Sudan as thousands of South Sudanese are affected by floods with no access to food and safe drinking water. And this has been challenging as these areas are inaccessible and they lie within the scope of our work of conflict resolution. As an organization, this has become a challenge because these are areas that we work in and they are inaccessible now. And this is because there is no sufficient early warning system and also because the mobility has become a challenge, the road network is not that great. So that makes it really hard for us to do our work. It has also become difficult for us to shift our priorities from conflict resolution and peace building to responding to the impact of climate change. I think that our partners such as the Canadian federal government can come in to support technically by providing capacity building on responding to the impacts of climate change and also on how to establish a strong early warning system, especially for us as an organization in terms of the impact of climate change and also for the people of South Sudan that are in areas that are prone to being affected largely by the impact of climate change.